Hi there. I am one of the Evernote certified business consultants. My name is Chinarat Brungchod Fit. And one of the areas that I focus on on the team is in the area of health and wellness. And I specifically guide people to center and live their purpose in the face of overwhelming input. I think all of us can relate to the exponential rise in input as we all get more and more connected on the internet. There really is no end to all the input. Now the good news is that this represents lots of opportunity. So the demonstration that I'm going to do today is an Evernote system that is actually designed to think uh, top down to help you complete your strategic planning and keep all your strategic planning in sync with the input that you actually receive every day. Now, we won't get into a lot of details in regards to how to use Evernote. There are many videos on the Evernote channel to support you in that. And if you need references to that, please let me know or comment below. I'm going to focus a little bit more on the top-down approach and what's been created. So before we go into Evernote, I wanna go ahead and show a web view. So if you go to compass.chinrut.com, you literally can browse this implementation, it's live. And what you're seeing is inspired by the seven habits of highly effective people. And for those of you who don't know, uh, it is a work by the past uh, Dr. Stephen Covey, so in many ways this is a tribute to him. I've been extensively trained uh, by the Getting Things Done method and David Allen, and I'm going to focus a little bit more on what you're seeing right here. So each of these squares represents a role. The Franklin Covey method is a methodology that invites you to take a look at seven roles or hats in your life that are important to you. So it could be anything from a production liaison, a work role, or it could be a dad. There should be seven hats that you're focused on on any given week. And we'll go into more detail when we see the compass um, a little bit later. But I want to go ahead and focus on uh, this middle role, which is the Evernote Business Certified Consultant. Now the important thing here is you can insert images or mind maps or whatever content inspires you to, to what you think of when you put on this hat or whatever way you need to organize it. So I'm just showing you one way to organize it. I happen to be quite passionate about the business model you method. And so what you're seeing uh, is what they call a personal business model. And it's a way of using the formality of a business model at the individual level. And in this case, modeling this particular hat. Now, you can use whatever visualization you'd like in, in its place. And we'll see where this comes to place when we look at Evernote a little bit later. And underneath the graphic, you can put whatever references or text that's most meaningful to you. I myself am still experimenting, and I'm seeing items like, you know, portfolio items uh, like this, like this, uh, like my Evernote consultancy, and uh, this whole website around today's Renaissance worker um, is an item in my portfolio, and so. Uh, Again, I'm not trying to dictate any particular methodology, but uh, a framework. I'm trying to be specific about what I do, and I hope it actually shares some ideas or inspires some ideas about how you could go ahead and implement Evernote and have it be more than just a note-taking note tool. So let's just go ahead and, and dive into Evernote. So. 
I lead Weave Your Legacy, it's a boutique consultancy, and um, what you're seeing is Evernote business. This is modeling how this implementation might look like at a team level. Now, in the interest of time, we're not going to go into any type of team interactions or uh, how uh, these different people might interact with each other. That might be a separate video. If you'd like to see that, go ahead and, and comment. I'm going to focus on exactly what it looks like uh, from this particular view. So, and I should actually note that just because this is implemented in Evernote Business doesn't mean that it's not available to people who choose to use the free version or the premium version of Evernote. Everything that's covered in this video can be done uh, through uh, the free and the premium version. So I have some shortcuts up here and I'm going to just jump to my weekly. And so you know, what we're going to see is a weekly it says 2015, work week 15, that's this week. And again, how your weekly looks like to you, it's the beauty of Evernote. It's not going to tell you to do it any way. And what you're going to see here is I do make a liberal use of note links to, to ease the navigation. And I do use search quite a bit. So I put strategic outcomes here. I tend to put the status for my community so they can get a sense of some of the things that I dealt with last week and what I'm up to this week. And then the next section are roles. And so you can see uh, what I've done for the sake of having an index or a table of contents is I've numbered each of my roles and I have particular outcomes or projects attached to each role just in the form of an outline. And then if we go down a little bit further, uh, I call this the foundation. And this is essentially what is the seventh habit of the seven habits of highly effective people, which is called sharpening the saw. And the whole essence of sharpening the saw is on renewal, uh, with my focus on health and wellness. This is what matters to me most. And it's divided into body, mental, emotional, and spirit. Now. The important thing here is you have to implement this however way it works for you. If you don't resonate with the whole body, mental, emotional, spirit, and you'd rather go with a different framework, um, so be it. Um, in fact, uh, I'll, I'll show you a project that I have. So if I go up to here, and let's go ahead and, and you'll see how linked this is. So if I go ahead and click click on the Wellbeing Five Elements online course, you'll see a project that is associated with this particular role. And Evernote allows you to insert graphics, so you might want to see your foundation, perhaps through what Gallup says is these five essential elements. You should do what works for you. Now, the point is not so much about the framework, but this is an example project. And in the spirit of natural planning, you should outline and detail this project to whatever details required to get clear on what your next step is. Some projects will just need a simple overview um, other projects, uh, and, and I should actually note that the projects are listed on, on the left-hand side. Uh, if you go into Evernote and you go ahead and put due dates on each of your projects, what you essentially have here is a GTD tickler. One of the things that I had dealt with in my prior implementation of GTD was I had a very meticulous uh, task system, but I didn't have an integrated tickler. And so it's really nice to be able to every day just take a look at this tickler and see projects basically coming at you over the course of the year or into future years. And so this is an example of how you would use reminders. And 
uh, to go ahead and, and uh, put this together. So this is the project notebook and I have that as a shortcut here. Uh, we saw the compass. The compass uh, uh, notebook is what you saw on the website before. It's all the notes and all the different roles that constitute this particular compass. Now, you might ask how I keep track of actions or tasks. One of the reasons why I shifted from an OmniFocus implementation for about, of, of about five years to Evernote was I needed more flexibility and I needed more freeform text to manage all my projects. So if we go back into the projects view, for example, we can go ahead and let's, go, let's say we go into the Team Minutemen 2015 board meeting. There's only one next step really here. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a domain renewal. All, you can use Evernote to go ahead and outline as many steps as you'd like. Uh, but for the purposes of planning this meeting, I only needed a mind map here. I only needed the, the next step. Um, to, you know, in regards to, or the key decision in this in case to, to make to that, 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 that is at stake at this meeting. Um, other details were just ancillary and there was just no reason to outline that here. Um, now, I do use context for those of you who are familiar with TTD and I use context in, I use agendas to go ahead and track running agendas that I have with people that I am in communication with next time I meet them. And I also use a context for review. Uh, these happen to be uh, perhaps uh, PDFs or here's an example of using the web clipper and or no, I actually just forwarded this email uh, from, uh, you know, to my Evernote email address. It's a really great way to collect stuff and and avoid to-do items being trapped in your email. Um, Trying to see if I have an example of a web page that I captured. Uh, this is another forwarded email. This might be one. So there's a really neat tool called the Web Clipper, and it really just allows you to clip things from the web and save them into Evernote. And it's really convenient to have all my review material. We live in a paradigm where we don't just have stuff and a stack of papers on the desk anymore. And once you digitize a lot of your, your items, then you know that this folder for, or, or this tag, for example, this is a review tag, uh, not, a, not, a, not a notebook, uh, that represents all the things that I could review when I have time and energy. So, in a nutshell, let's go ahead and go back to top view. I have just shown you an Evernote implementation that allows you to do top-down planning under the framework of a Franklin Covey compass. I have seven hats here and I happen to have one note here for sharpening the saw to that really are the different pieces of this compass. I showed uh, how I you drill down uh, into a particular role, um, like myself as an Evernote consultant and how I use a personal business model to shape this role. And you're welcome to use whatever visual works for you. I, I've shared how I've added notes to the bottom uh, to index accomplishments or portfolio items that are important. And I've shared this weekly object which goes ahead on a weekly basis typically for me on a Sunday evening I go ahead and get straight with my strategic outcomes, the status for the week, and I use an outline form to go ahead and go through my roles and 
and key anchors or results that are important to me. And I use note links to ease the navigation of all that. And in this spirit of centering yourself and staying grounded, uh, some type of foundation, sharpening the saw in, in the areas of mental, uh, body, emotional spirit, and making sure that there are outcomes that speak to that, is the method that I use. So, I hope that was useful. I really want to thank all the people on the Evernote business consulting team and all the friends and family who have encouraged me to get this video done. I had created a video prior to this called a life coordinator and it it shared a lot of uh, perhaps my spirit as a community builder but it didn't really show a lot about Evernote so I hope this particular video was able to give you a bigger glimpse into how I use Evernote every day and every week and every month and every quarter. Uh, this is the first, this is the second quarter that I'll be executing this system and I feel like it's been going well. So if this demo has been useful to you and or you have any questions, please go ahead and comment below. If there are any, if there's anything that I've mentioned or are there any resources I can provide, let me know as well. If you'd like uh, to experiment with creating a system like this, you can also contact me below. And I hope that was useful and thanks for listening.